this is actually just off the trail at uh, 001T. And I have taken photos of this area back in my photography days. And I've got a really cool black and white photo, I think, of here. If I find it, I'll put it in here. This is just one of those cool rock areas. That is a work of art. Look how it's tilted up. And really thin sections. Yeah, let's go ahead and go down here and check it out. Lots of interesting little cubby holes here. None of them that I've come to so far are very deep. I'll check this one out and see what's going on. It goes back a little way. Check for snakes. Yeah, it just kind of ends here also. Or does it? Yep. Look at that. Let's get out of here. So I just came around this turn and this is what I saw. Looks like it continues to go up there. It looks like I can get up there. I just gotta be careful because this, some of this rock may be loose. Yeah, let's go check it out. So I can feel a coolness coming out of here. So it does go back a little bit. So let's, let's go up here and check it out. Okay, so I've made it up here and I don't know if I'm gonna go any further. And I'd like to, I've got a black widow down here. No big deal, I can get around it. And it could go around the corner there. Oh, this is a cool place. I gotta, I gotta get rid of my backpack too. Any bats? Oh, so I see light over there. Huh. No bats yet, no snakes. All right, it's a cool little crevice. Right down there is my backpack. I had to drop it to get up here. But yeah, isn't that cool? So that is the rock jumble that I just come out behind this tree here is that uh, crevice. And then it goes up around that way. Inconspicuous when you look at it from this direction. It looks like there's a lot of stuff to check out here. So let's, let's go exploring. Sometimes when I go into these places, I take a look at them beforehand. But this one is totally raw. First of all, we've got a old Mountain Dew bottle over here. So it's got some age on it. Got a little cave type salamander. So when you get this deep into some of these holes, there will be bats. So I'm going to be mindful of that. Lots of mayflies, no snakes, anything like that. Looks like we've got a cut here. That's going to be our stopping point. All right. That was pretty cool. That's not couple of spiders hanging out there. That's why I try to not touch the sides of the rock because I don't know what kind of spiders are on those, on those walls. All right, so adjust my glasses here. So according to the map, I am getting really close to Golden Creek Falls. So this is Boulder Creek Falls. Of course it is not running today. And it normally, when it is running, will fall off here and it'll hit this rock here and just go all over the place. So what I think we're gonna do from here is walk the creek. And I think there's one particular place I can get down into. Found the way down. It's been years since I've been down here. Yeah, this is it. All right, so go around this turn here. Oh, wow. Ooh. We are in the belly of the beast here. Um, I don't know if I can get through here. I may try to crawl. But here's that waterfall. Um, yeah, let's try some maneuvers here. I'm gonna try to crawl onto this rock. See if there's any way down. 
No way down this way. Oh yeah. I don't think I can get around there at all. Uh, but isn't that cool? To know a place like this is back here. On the other side over here. So we can get in here and look at. Ooh, that's wet. waterfall back there. You turned around here. See my camo over there. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna figure out how to go down below there. I can't scramble through that. It's just not safe. Is everything okay? Oh. Mm. oh boy. All right, that's what happens when you take chances. I am soaked on this lake here. Pretty much all on this lake here. Nothing's, nothing is damaged. No cameras damaged. No body parts damaged. Yeah. Doesn't feel good though. Back here and show you what happened. I got on the edge of this rock here and it slants down into the water. So if anywhere, I could see where I put my foot right there, but it's just slid off. So, you know, I, I could have put it over this way, but nothing's hurt. Nobody's hurt. So. This is what it is. So we're gonna make our way out here. All right, so after that little mishap there in the creek, I think I'm done for the day. No need to chance it anymore. Probably take me an hour, hour and 15 minutes to get back. So I think a good question is, how dry will I be when I get back to my vehicle? So this is how wet I am now. How dry will I be when I get to my vehicle? Okay, so I'm back at my vehicle and I'm gonna give you the final pants cam, how much they've dried out. So yeah, not too bad. It's about 50 minutes. Took me to get back here and my butt's wet. But my pants, except for the that there and my shoes, pretty much dry.